Hi, Bookies, if you're new here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, what's going on? I'm not even tired. Okay, I'm much better now. Anyway, hi, Bookies. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shallon, and today I'm going to be showing you how I contour my nose, which looks like this. A lot of people have asked me how I do my nose contour online millions of times the years that I've been on the internet and I've made the videos a couple of times but they get lost in the sea of my content because I do make a lot of content about a lot of different stuff. Here's where you can follow me if you're new. I post a lot. Just go look bitch. Sorry that was rude. This is a terrible first impression. <laughs> if you've never seen me before. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the products we're gonna use first and then I'll walk through everything with you and I'm gonna make it as detailed as humanly possible. Let's get started. <gasps> There's gonna be two segments of products. I know I ate that. I always forget the transition and I gagged you. Don't piss me off. You know I got the 99% alcohol, don't play. So firstly, we use the Revlon Full Flex Wear Concealer. She's full coverage. Don't use this if you don't like full coverage. If you like more of a natural conceal, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's still pretty, like it's like medium coverage. That's what I have on my face right now, like just under my eyes and on my cheeks and things is this. And it's really good for like a natural day, so like today. But I, I prefer to use like my regular concealer for my nose contour because it gets greasy and falls off my face if I don't. Then, next product you're gonna use is the e.l.f. Camel Concealer and I just have it in white white to help brighten up the nose because this doesn't really show up very bright because it's almost the same color as my skin. Then lastly, I love, love, love the KVD Duos. This is the Good Apple Duo and I'm in shade medium, but I believe their darkest shade also looks fine on me if I don't overdo it. So that's the, what we're gonna use for cream products. For powder products, I've become obsessed with the NYX Butter Contours. I think that's what they're called. Oh, Butter Melt Bronzers, they're bronzers. I really hope they drop a contour version because these are, because their bronzers are very warm and they don't give the appearance of a contour because they're not gray enough. With contour, you want it to be a little gray so that it looks like a shadow because the whole point of contour is to create a shadow. And I'll try to show you that if I remember to. But they're really good, they're really good and they smell so good. Ah! God damn it! What did they put in there? Whoever, whoever came up with that scent needs a kiss if they want it. Only if they want it. And the last powder product is really just whatever setting powder you set your face with because I make sure I set my nose when I'm all done. Now let's get started. Yeah, I bought you in a little bit. We're a little close. Don't look, I'm shy. What we're gonna do first is you're gonna get your concealer, the Revlon, for me. And then you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in the center and then a little bit up the nose bridge. And I should take my glasses off that would make sense. Okay, we're really up close and personal. I did record some on accident, but um, don't worry about that. I literally just put the same concealer that I told you that we're gonna get. So mine is the Revlon, 24 hours. I believe it's the colors today. And then I spread it out and swipe horizontally across my nose. I feel like it blends it out the best for me when I do that. Before I used to swipe this as well. And then I started liking this, like this little push moment. She gags, I like that. Just like that. And it, yes, it looks crazy, but wait. Then you're gonna take your white concealer and do the same thing. But you wanna put way less product Unless your concealer is light enough. I only do this because I think that it needs to look lighter and my concealer doesn't really look lighter. Like it doesn't really brighten my face. I don't aim for brightness when I use concealer, I aim for coverage. So my concealers do that, especially because the powders that put over it, they just bring it right back to my color anyway. So only add this step if yours, if you want yours to look a little more vibrant. If you want it to look a bit more natural, you can, you can skip the white concealer. And look at that. Then you're gonna take your contour palette. You don't have to use the exact products I use in this. The Revlon concealer and the e.l.f. are affordable but I don't really remember the price for this. So if it's expensive, you can use any contour kit. It, it does not matter. It truly doesn't. They all do the same thing. You can use things that you prefer. Like I definitely have preferences, but I think at the end of the day, most of them have the same job and they have similar payoffs. You're gonna just start to go in almost like an ovular shape around your nose and just create like an outline for what you just did. You're gonna wanna make it a triangle. No, just as round as you can. You want it to just be a perfect rectangle around your nose. You can kind of see it forming already. Me when I'm using the viewfinder to do my makeup because if I don't, I look at y'all like this. That's creepy. And then you just want to blend it out. And you want to keep that brush next to you. Move. You want to keep that brush next to you that you did the concealer with just in case you over the stutter. In case you over contour, you can just grab that. You don't even need to put any product on it most of the time and just fix it up. I'm using the contour side, but sometimes when I feel like my skin looks kind of dead, I'll use both sides. Then you're gonna start gently working the product up your nose bridge. You should also do this dependent upon your nose shape and what shape you're going for. I don't like a very snatched nose anymore. I think when I first started contouring my nose, I thought that was just like the general nose you're supposed to aim for. Then I realized it was making my nose look smaller and I was like, hmm, not really what I'm looking for. I just kind of wanted more of 
have like a like a button nose like a deer nose and i realized this looks like that and i like it i don't like a super pinched tiny model nose um so this became the nose type i like nose style nose contour style that i liked because it didn't feel like it was decreasing this the volume of my nose just kind of giving it a bit more shape i also feel like my nose doesn't really have shape it kind of just looks there and i like the definition that this brings to my nose what i do whenever it feels like i don't have enough of the hello whenever it feels like i don't have enough of the brightness i just go right back in with the white concealer because you really can dissipate this if you overdo it but the bronzer and the contour is a bit hard to clean up if you overdo it so i'm always willing to overdo the white concealer because it's very easily fixable so you go right back in and do the same thing if you feel like you made a mistake and you're here then i'll just lightly try to touch up wherever it was that i didn't like and this brush is the fenty eyeshadow brush i'm pretty sure this has been my ride or die for my nose contour for so long it's the 200 eyeshadow brush it's so good it's just the perfect perfect shape for nose contour it gets right in the crannies perfectly it's not too big it's not too dense it's just perfect it's just perfect y'all it's not a long process because um we're almost done next is set it mary gold in one size best setting powder ever i literally just dip in there and, and set the hell out my nose okay you don't want your nose to come off on somebody's shirt if you hug them right it's gonna look like it just erased all your work it's fine lastly you're gonna get your powder bronzer or contour it always looks like there's glitter in this but i think that's me like i think i used doesn't matter no one cares and i'm just gonna go over wherever i did my contour before and re-emphasize those lines that got swept away in the setting powder also have you guys seen the mist the movie scared the shit out of me after watching that i was too scared to go outside to go catch the bus in school one time because I was scared because it was foggy outside and I thought the mist monster was gonna eat me. After you do that, if you feel like you lost the white in translation, you can literally again just go back in with the same brush. I don't clean this brush off until I'm finished because the product that's on it is like just enough product. Then I really just go in and like fix any parts that I feel doesn't look right or anything that looks a little off. And I like to drag it into my brow bone because it feels like it connects it to my face a little more. Honestly, I'll pull it out as far until it feels like it's not really visible anymore. I'll kind of just put it everywhere, just like that. And that's it. That's how you do Shallon's nose contour. A lot of people do not love how it looks from the side. I don't care, I'm fine. Everybody know I got makeup on. I don't give a rat's ass. It's, it really is so simple. I think a lot of people thought it was this complicated ass technique because it looks so bold, but it's not. It's really easy and I don't know. I've gotten to a place where I'm doing makeup now for the enjoyment of it and for my enjoyment of it. I think that something a lot of people don't want to admit is that you did do makeup at one point sometimes for attention. And I did just because I like didn't really fit in and I kind of tried to like follow the makeup trends that everyone else was doing whether I liked it or not. And I realized I didn't like doing that because I didn't like how I looked. I didn't look okay with big block brows. That wasn't fitting to my face. That wasn't fitting to my appearance. I didn't like the look of, I don't know, feather brows because it didn't really fit my appearance at the time because I was doing other makeup that kind of like took the balance and like tip the scales. But now I like a fluffier brow. Like time moves on and your makeup style changes. Everyone's makeup style changes. Nobody, there's a low, low chance that somebody is still doing the makeup that they were doing in high school, middle school, elementary school. I don't know when you started wearing makeup. So I feel like have fun with makeup. If people make fun of it, oh well, that miserable so it doesn't even matter have fun like enjoy yourself the whole point of doing these creative outlet and these different things that, that you find enjoyment out of is to enjoy it like the point is to have fun and like like what you're doing and i don't know i don't do makeup for anybody else anymore now i do it for myself and i do it because i like it and i like how it looks and i like how i feel when i do it it's it needs to be about you like makeup needs to go back to being about you again and do you hear my upstairs neighbor let me just be quiet and see i think they have a bowling alley up there did you hear it was that a strike no? Guess it wasn't a strike. Anyway, I didn't mean to ramble, but that's all I have to say. Just have fun with makeup and make sure you enjoy what you're doing and you're not doing your makeup to impress somebody else. Unless it's a girly pop and you want to impress her because you're like, oh my gosh, I learned how to do this cut crease. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's, that's different. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope this was a nice first impression of me. I'm a little um, all over the place, but that's me. That's just me. Some may say I need to be afraid of losing everything in the la la land. Had to sit where I knew my name. So don't stick around if you don't like that type of shit. <laughs> Bye. If you're not new here, see you next Sunday. I post every Sunday at noon. Y'all be acting confused. That I even have a YouTube. Love you, Pookie. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, hey. So sorry, I took my meds, so I'm feeling. Shut up. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is. Why did I do that?
I don't even do that. You know, the other day Joni was like, oh, getting off track, getting off track. <laughs>